Hi, my name is Dyrus from TSM, and this is my solo lane tactics guide to Gangplank vs. Riven. From levels 1 to 2, you have an option of having Flask or Doran's Blade. Generally, when you do a camp and you want to TP the lane, you should start Doran's Blade, but if you can double jungle and just walk the lane, you should start Flask. When you have Flask, you want to play passive in lane and just trade with the passive on auto and last hit with Q. And when you have Doran's Blade, you have an option of playing aggressive and really volatile. It doesn't, it, it's not very consistent when it comes to what happens in the lane. It highly depends on player skill, but the one thing you can always depend on is just farming. From levels 3 to 4 on Gangplank, it's a little bit more tricky. On level 3, you want to level up W instead of the second level Q. The reasoning for this is it greatly increases your survivability when getting ganked or when Riven goes in on you for a trade. Also, if you have Flask or any mana pots, the W will give you a lot of sustain the lower health you are and makes you much, much harder to kill. From levels 5 to 6, barrel placement becomes even more important. Although placing barrels in lane from 1 to 4 doesn't matter as much, when it gets to 5 to 6, this is also when Riven becomes really strong. If you don't have a barrel behind you or on top of the creeps when she goes on you and you can't really run away, then she'll be able to 100 to 0 you at level 6. Being very aware of this, you should call for a counter gank, or you should find ways to be able to farm and not die to Riven's all in. These ways are usually from having barrels up, having W up, or even having like a gank from even mid lane. Playstyle on Gangplank, you want to make sure you always never go all in unless you're going to get the kill. With Gangplank, the longer you live, the better. You do tons of damage and you're very very good at kiting. When dropping your ult you want to drop it on as many people as possible and you want to drop it on enemies that come into the fight. You can also drop it into chokes or after throwing out 2e barrels and just like chunking the opponent AD or enemy squishies. When the enemy engages on you, throwing ult on yourself or your teammates is very very effective because it zones out the rest of the enemy team and if they don't respect it, they start to take even more damage than before because Gangplank ult is just really really strong in general. For runes on Gangplank, you want to go flat AD and flat AD quints for reds and quints. For armor, you want to go armor per level or flat armor depending on how bad the lane is for you in general. For blues, you want to go CDR per level and the reasoning for this is after CDR per level, you get 15% plus 5% plus 15% from boots, masteries, and then just the runes. For masteries on Gangplank, I like to go 21-9. For skill order on Gangplank, when you're doing double jungle, you should start E and then put the barrels early. And if you're going into lane early, you want to start Q. Generally, you max Q and then E and then W. As for um, maxing order on the R in terms of buying which upgrade, you want to get the rapid fire and then the big cannon and then raise morale. The reasoning for this is the rapid fire damage is like more sustained and consistently while the big cannon thing is just one big cannon ball that does 300% of the damage which is kind of good but not as good as the rapid fire. For item build on Gangplank, your main core is Trinity Force. Right after Trinity Force, you have an option of either going Yomu's or Infinity Edge. After those two items, you have an option of going Phantom Dancer or Bloodthirster. My favorite build is going Infinity Edge into Phantom Dancer into I into uh, Bloodthirster. Right after Bloodthirster, I prefer having two IEs. So your your end item build on Gangplank should be one Boots of Lucidity, two IEs, one Trinity Force, one Bloodthirster, and one Phantom Dancer. The reasoning why I have two IEs is when you go Yomu's on Gangplank and it gets to very late game, you can sell Yomu's for another IE to give you more AD and 5% more crit. You won't get the attack speed bonus or the movement speed bonus, but in my opinion, I think the IE is worth it regardless of cost since it's going into late game. Thanks for watching this guide on Gangplank vs. Riven. Be sure to check out my other guides at lowclass.com. For teamfights on Darius, it's important to play selfish, but 
you can be the engager by flash eing. It's not very common.